Um, hi, welcome to my channel again. Uh, it's been, um, a few months? Uh, like, three, I want to say? It's been a while, um, because I don't have an explanation. Uh, lost interest, um, I mean, I guess I have an excuse. Uh, I got a job. I told that in my last video, I'm pretty sure. Um, been going to school so that's been taking up a lot of my time but that's neither here nor there um, I'm back now uh, I'm gonna try to do videos at least on Sundays I want to do more videos now I'm kind of like in a mood to do them I feel good about things now I have a few more things to talk about um, been getting ideas so that's what I'm gonna be doing and um, it's like it's 3 30 in the morning and uh, <laughs> Yeah, I don't know why I'm up, but I am. Uh, today's technically Sunday, so it's the second day of December, but I'm still gonna count it as December 1st because I uh, might do like a video um, this whole month. Um, I'd like to. It's probably usually gonna be at night because <laughs> I work all the time and I go to school all the time and finals are coming up and I'm stressing. <laughs> but today's video really is actually um, about an experience I had, a uh, really horrible experience. So, um, this was two years ago, and uh, it was on a train, of course. It was with Amtrak. Um, I don't recommend them anymore. I don't like them. Also, trains are just horrible in general. So, it was like two years ago, so that'd be like 2015 or something like that. Um, I was going to a pageant, so uh, my older sister did pageants a lot. And uh, this one she was going to um, was in Wisconsin. I remember because we were going to Wisconsin Dells, which was in Kalahari. That was my computer. It was in Kalahari, which um, was where we were staying at for the pageant. So uh, we had to take three trains to get there. Um, so we'd take one train and we'd go to Chicago. I do live in Michigan, so we'd go to the Chicago train station uh, after we left from Michigan. And we'd be at Union Station, and then we'd take another one uh, to, what was it? I can't remember where, but then we'd take another one to Wisconsin. Um, so it was kind of long. We usually got there within um, a day, maybe a day and a half, because we usually would leave at night around midnight, something like that, and get there by ne the next night. So, uh, we got all packed and we're ready to go for the, to like our trip to Wisconsin. Um, trip there, perfectly fine. Um, and so that was fun. That was fine. Uh, then it was on the way back. That's when we had the problem. So we're, um, we already gotten past the first train. We're already on our second train. There was like a 40 minute like delay um, until we went to the next train to Chicago. Uh, so we had that, we got in the train. So on the train to Chicago, uh, it was okay for a good while. We had pretty good seats because my grandmother, she was with us, she's 74 years old. She is like, since she is sold, she has like a handicap, but she's completely fine. She's very active for her age. Um, so at, she's like 74, I'm pretty sure at this time because she's 76 now it's been two years um and so we got good seats because we were able to get there on the train first so um we're on the train and uh it's good all up until our last few minutes and it was already hot in the train but the ac had went out at some point and it was extremely hot then like i don't think not that long before we even reached the station union station we have to make an emergency stop at another station because our train broke down. So we're sitting on the train for a good hour, two hours, um, with all the lights off, no AC, we can't open the windows because it's a train. Um, we can't really do anything else. We're, we're told to stay in our seats. So we can't get up, we can't go buy something from the uh, on-cart like diner. So we're all sitting there and the person who operates the train comes up with a loudspeaker and they're like, uh, sorry for any inconveniences. And we're like, mm, yeah, kind of. Uh, but sorry, it's not gonna cut it. And they're like, we're gonna be passing out emergency rations. And now you'd think, oh, okay, you'd get a like a full size water bottle. No, we got a mini water bottle, the smallest little water bottle I've ever seen. Um, and we got crackers. We got saltine crackers in a mini water bottle. 
on like a 102 day in Chicago, like on a train with no air. What? <laughs> so we're sitting there for two hours with the tiniest little water bottle and saltine crackers. So after that, we finally are allowed to leave because the train's not going anywhere. And they tell us, you have to walk to Union Station if you want to get to your next train. So there's like 100 plus people on this train already. And so we all get off and we have to carry all of our luggage. So we were in Wisconsin for I think two weeks. So we had a good amount between four people. Because it was my older sister, my twin, my grandma and me. So um, I'm carrying my luggage, which I had a backpack and a roll away. Uh, and I'm also like rolling away my grandma's luggage because I don't want her to roll it and all she had was her roll on So that's perfectly fine. My sisters are carrying their own stuff and um, so we're walking We have no idea where we're going. They didn't give us any directions. There's no one helping us So a whole mass of people are making their way through Chicago No idea where they're going people are asking uh, strangers on the street Hey, do you know where Union Station is because no one knows and we're just following the crowd This was like more than two mile walk and it was 102 de like degrees that day. It was blistering hot. And we're carrying all this luggage and we're walking and there's crowded and there's a like highways right next to us. And so my um, older sister and my twin go on ahead to try and see if they can like see the station and they're trying to get there faster. I'm lagging behind with my grandma because I don't want her walking alone. <clears throat> so I'm walking with her, I'm helping her, I'm carrying her luggage, I'm helping this and that. She She's like, has really bad hip problems. Like she can't like walk for a long period of time. That's why she's handicapped in the first place. She has really a lot of trouble walking because of how old she is. <clears throat> so we are walking in this heat and we finally see Union Station after what feels like a, like an eternity. It felt like an eternity. It was, took so long. So we get there and we get inside and we have to wait. Um, after that, it was fine. Uh, there wasn't really any more problems after that. Um, which, but we didn't get any conversation at the time. Um, and we weren't gonna get anything unless my, old, my older sister didn't call. My older sister called up Amtrak, like their hotline number, and complained that our 74 year old grandmother at the time had to walk in a, like this blistering hot weather. There was no one helping us. And so, you know what they, they did? You know what they did? They compensated us by saying that our next ride with Amtrak will be half off. Let that sink in. Our next ride will be half off. Why would you assume we were gonna ride with you again? So, uh, that was my uh, experience. Yeah, uh, moral of the story, uh, don't ride with Amtrak. Uh, just don't ride on trains at all. Uh, they're cramped, horrible, and they take a long time. So just ride in a plane a lot faster. So I'm going to drink my hot chocolate. Um, I'm going to edit this video and hopefully um, by the time this goes out, uh, I'm going to be going shopping tomorrow for Christmas stuff. So you'll be coming along with me for that. And that's going to be tomorrow's video. Um, I know uh, being on hiatus with no like thing saying I was, was kind of a bad idea. Um, but I'm back, I'm ready to roll, uh, and, you know, like, let's get this. So, um, like, uh, if you, if you like the video, uh, leave a comment, subscribe, uh, like it. Um, let me know what you guys want to see in the future because I'm still winging it, uh, just kind of hoping, you know, at this point that something goes my way. Um, and I'm really happy with the people who stuck around for my hiatus. I know it was a really long time, like three months, something like that. Really long time. And I was just gone. Like, MIA off the face of the mat, like the earth. Like, so the people who stayed around, I know I got a few comments, like, those are, like, they're really sweet. And that's, like, one of the most, like, reasons, like, oh, those, like, few comments I did get saying, hey, like, how you doing? Where you're at? Like, th that, like, really pushed me to make this video in the first place. So, um, expect a video. I think I'm gonna try it for every day. So, yeah. That's it. Um, see you guys another time. Bye. I forgot to say something, but I was literally 
sitting on a stool that whole time because I didn't want to pull my chair out because I have a bunch of clothes on it. So that was fun.